Welcome. My name is Jane Watson. Thank you for joining us in writing effective business emails. Now, I would imagine some of you are wondering what this course is going to do for you. Will there be any benefits? After all, you've been writing emails for a number of years now. But in my experience as a business writing consultant for over 20 years in both the public and the private sector, poorly written emails are the ones that are going to get you into the most trouble. For example, poorly written emails reduce your productivity. Have you ever sent out an email to someone and they did not reply? Or if they did reply, they asked you to clarify your first email rather than telling you the answer that you needed. Second, poorly written emails can impact your professional image. You know, poor writing is like bad breath. People may not tell you that you've got a problem, but they certainly notice it. And third, poorly written emails tend to generate negative feelings within the workplace. Have you ever sent out a perfectly innocuous email to someone and they've gotten all bent out of shape because they have misread it? Now what I want to do in this course is to provide you with techniques to ensure that you are writing effective emails. What do I mean by an effective email? Well, an effective email has a message that can be read easily. In other words, the person can read it quickly, know what they are to do, and never have to stop to interpret what you actually wanted them to do. Second, effective emails tell readers within the first eight seconds what they are to do with the message. Third, effective emails create a favorable image of you in the reader's mind. What you have to realize today is that effective emails are your personal brand. Your email tells a lot about you. When emails first came into existence, it was thought that they would be brief, you ask, I answer documents, and spelling and grammar wouldn't be important. Well, since emails had become an important or an official part of the business world, the rules for good formal business communication now apply. In fact, the original purpose for emails has now been taken over by text messaging. Now, increasingly, emails may be your first business contact with a prospective client, potential vendor, senior manager, or a colleague. And unfortunately, few people have ever received a formal training in writing emails. So, what we, and what they do often is that they tend to apply the rules of academic writing to writing emails, it doesn't work, or they try to apply the rules for letter writing to emails, again, a bad technique. Remember, your emails, from the organization of them, from the writing style, from visual layout, grammar, and tone, paint a picture of who you are. And effective emails ensure that you get the action you want from your reader. In this course, we've separated into three different sections. First section is what you need to know about emails. Second, second session is about writing style and tone. And the third section is how to organize your emails effectively. You will have a quiz to complete. There will be a downloadable document so you can follow along with us when we do the writing style. And at the end of the course, there is a document for you to download as a summary. Thank you. We'll see you in the next session.